Next up is frequency capping. So this is a feature that allows you to limit the number of times a person or user will see your ad in a given period of time. So let me show you what that means. We can go into frequency capping for our video campaign type. Notice you can cap impressions and views. Capping impressions is a useful tool when you're doing remarketing. I can't tell you how many times I've been to a website once. I wasn't really that interested to begin with. Uh, they remarketed to me by following me around with the same ad over and over again. Everywhere I went, I saw it and it just gets annoying. You start to hate that brand. And that's not what brands want. That's not the purpose of advertising. So this feature lets you limit how much you are showing your ads to people. It's because you want to find a good balance to not annoy them, but also stay in front of them. That's what this allows you to do. You can enter, let's say, a number of three per day at the campaign level. Now, there is a strategy here. If you have a lot of different ad creatives, then it might make sense to, let's say you had 20. Let's say you had 20 different ads, okay? We could enter one here. We can show 20 different ads per day at the ad level. So that means that a single person is going to see a unique ad uh, per day. They, they possibly could. This isn't guaranteeing that they're gonna see your ad this many times. Uh, but this, this caps each ad to only show one impression to a user per day. So if you have a lot of creatives, uh, you could use this feature and set this to one. Whereas if you have very limited number, I would set this to three and I would do it at the campaign level. That's my personal preference. But like I said, it's strategy. It all depends on the different types of ads you have and how your campaign is structured. So that's impression frequency. And we've seen brands like Wix just constantly bombard people with ads. Geico did that a few years back and they just got known as the brand that advertises all the time. That's also when you would use this because you wanna maintain goodwill. Cap view frequency. So remember a view costs you money. So when you, when you see, if you see your users engaging with your ads a lot, like the same users, you might say, well, that's great. We have good engagement. But at the same time, you might say, well, I'm not reaching new people if the same people are consuming my budget every single day. Because remember, a view costs you money. So you can limit the number of times somebody is viewing your ad. It might be just one person that just lets it roll for the 30 seconds and doesn't even care about what you're showing them. They just always let it roll. You know, you might want to limit that. It also could just be a competitor clicking your ads or always uh, stalking you or looking into your, your strategies. You never know. So that's where I would set a view frequency. I would say that I would set this mainly to let the budget last longer so we can reach more people with our advertising budget. So that's when I would use view frequency and it's the same settings. You could set it a number here, three per day, per week, per month, camping ad, ad group. So that's frequency capping. For display, you can let Google optimize how many times they show your ad, or you can set a limit at the impression level for the entire campaign, ad group and ad. You can set a number here on a per day, per week or per month. If you want to learn more about frequency capping, feel free to pause the video here and learn more.